Hurry up, Lenny. You're slacking behind. I'm tired, George. Be quiet, will ya? You've been complaining this whole darn trip. When will we get those rabbits, George? I really want those rabbits. Someday we'll get our dream. Live off the fat of the land. Just us? That's the way it's gotta be. It may be lonesome, but use too much trouble than you realize. Well, maybe I could just leave then. Too much trouble for you anyways. Go live in a cave and get my own rabbits. You'll get your rabbits. Be patient, you lug. There ain't no need for you to be running off all by yourself. You won't make it. So we gonna stay together? You won't leave me? Nah, I won't be leaving you. You're my obligation now. But stop killing those innocent mice. They never done nothing to you. I'm just trying to be soft with them. I know it. Just be careful. Now let's eat some dinner. Got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. If there ain't no ketchup, I'm leaving. There ain't no ketchup and you ain't leaving neither. I wonder what ketchup tastes like on those mice. I'll go find one. George will never know. I'll keep it in my pocket. I bet they like my company, unlike him. Who needs George anyways? Now, Lenny, don't you say a word, you hear? Don't need you messing anything up. All right, George, I'll keep my mouth good and quiet. Won't say a word. Good, because here comes that creepy old guy. I'm the swamper of this here bunkhouse. The name's Candy. Ooh, that sounds really tasty. Can I have some? Oh my god. Ha! Boy, someone's already got a big taste of me. Bit my hand clean off. Alrighty then. Well, we'll be heading to our room now. Good to hear. Just go see around for yourself. We got a pretty nice place coming. Who are you two? More specifically, what's with Stretch here? Uh, his name's Lenny. What's it to you? He can't speak for himself? I almost feel sorry for the poor fellow. I'll leave him well alone. He's a good worker, just not too smart. Well, he better get smart. I got a wife here, and he better not cause no problems for her. Oh, he'll stay out of your hair. He don't need no one anyways. Good. I just conditioned it so it's nice and soft today. No one understands me. George never lets me do nothing, and all I want is some rabbits. I'd be better off alone. All I need is those rabbits. Hey, Slim, have you seen Lenny around? Yes, sir. He's in the barn petting my new pups. Oh, my God. I hope he's not causing too much trouble. Just kick him out if you need to. He'll be fine. He's practically a child. You're so cute. I just want to hold you all day. At least you like me, don't you? No one else seems to. Disappointingly, I am incapable of liking a human, for I am only a mere pup and cannot comprehend your concepts of the English language and peculiar dialect. Oh. Candy, it's time you put that smelly mutt down. I can't, Carlson. I've raised him since he was just a pup. Sure he's not good around the bunk now, but I just can't put him down. It's time, and if you don't do it, I will. He's too much trouble. That's it. End of discussion. I'm tired of having this conversation over and over again with no outcome. I'm going to do it myself. Come on, pup. Don't just stand there. Follow me. He was perfectly fine. He was a great dog. Carlson don't know what he's doing. That dog was all I had. Now I've got no one neither. Hey, guys. Well, there you are, Lenny. Crooks kicked me out of the barn. I guess I was hurting the pups. It's all right, Lenny. Just wait for him to get a little bigger, then you can play with him all you want. All right, I guess that's okay. I'll just have to be patient. That's the spirit. All right, so back to what you were talking about, Slim. Oh, right. Haven't you ever noticed Curly's glove before? Sure. What's it for? I heard it's for his wife. 
I ain't never heard of putting a glove on a sock, so who knows what he does with it. Ooh. Maybe he puts it- Shh! Here he comes! <laughs> Rabbits. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at, huh? Huh? Uh, nothing. R right, George? Right. Now leave him alone, Curly. No, I'm sick of this guy. Always acting so tough. I'll sock you right in the mouth if you don't watch it. Pun intended. <laughs> That's it. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to beat you up. Ha. No, I won't let you. Watch out, watch out. Ah, -da 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 -da. Oh, my hand. You busted my hand. What am I going to tell my wife? You'll tell her it was a manufacturing error. Maybe then she can get a good discount on her next purchase of a better husband. Hi, crooks. Leave me be. I ain't need nobody bothering my piece. But you're alone. Ain't nobody gotta be alone. I do. It's the way of life, but as you're still here, I might as well just let you in. Why are you so alone all day? Ain't got no choice, but by and by I make it through. I've got books to read. Why do you think you're always alone? I ain't. I got George with me. Doesn't look to be the case now. He could just leave and you'd never see him again. What about that? What would you do then? No, 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 George wouldn't do that. We're buds. We're going to live on a farm and everything. Well, what's going on in here? Uh, I should start charging admission. This here's a lonely party, Candy. A time for us to feel sorry for ourselves. You'd fit right in. Oh, well, Curly's wife's be going to come in here. She's, uh, looking for Curly. Oh, God, why am I being punished? Hey, any of y'all seen Curly? Staying in that bunkhouse gets awful lonesome without company. You fellas seem to be living it up in here. Care if I join? I was trying to have some peace to myself. That's the way it's always been, anyways. Why times change, I don't know. It's almost like us lonely folk were fated to meet here. Maybe that way some English teacher could try and assign a classroom project of some sort to her students to research our behaviors and do something about themes. Well, does anyone know when George will be back? I told you, he left. You might as well just stay here with us. No one really understands us. All just a bunch of misfits, destined to be alone. I gotta tend those rabbits. They get me. They're the only ones who get me. You're crazy. You're all crazy. I got a way worse than all you. No one here treats me with the least of decency. All because I'm a woman. I'm leaving. I'm better off to myself than hanging around you degenerates. Hmm. You know, maybe it's best if you all leave. I prefer to be alone. Gotten quite used to it, actually. And I suggest you two do the same. It's nice. No one's here for us. And they never will be. Trust me, I've lived this way my whole life. <sighs> all right, we'll leave. Come on, Lenny, let's go. Uh, uh. Okay, 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 I'm coming. Who needs crooks in them? I got my pups to tend to. Then George must let me tend the rabbits. He just must. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me go. Oh, you're so cute. I'm just going to play with you for hours. No one will even know. If you kill me, I will haunt your soul for the rest of eternity. That's probably the cutest thing I've ever heard. You're an idiot. I will bite you. Bite, bite, chomp, chomp, bite. Oh, 
Stop. Bad dog. Bad dog. Oh. Oh my gosh. I've killed him. Oh no. I've done a bad thing. What did you do? N n nothing Doesn't seem like nothing to me. I... I just like soft things. Uh, all, all I did was hit him. He's too little, Lenny. He, he needs something bigger to hold on to. I try, but George is always taking things away from me. Here, feel my hair. Maybe you could grow yours out like mine. Your hair is so soft. I like it a lot. Yes, I know it is. Let go now. Hey, hey, I said let go. It's too soft. I want it. It's mine. No, I want your hair. What? Give me your hair. Give it to me now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I've killed her. I've done another bad thing. What's George gonna say? I... I gotta run away. I'll be better off alone. No one likes me anyways. Maybe then I'll get my own rabbits. Uh... 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 Oh my goodness! It's Curly's wife! I think I know who it was. Uh, I'll kill him! No, no. No need to be hasty. There could be another explanation. Doubtful. I'll shoot him right in the guts. Can't wait to see the fabric spilling out of his body. I'll kill him. I'll kill him for killing my wife. Ah, follow me, guys. Oh, boy. I'll stay here and watch over your wife, Curly. Don't mind me. Just sit right here. Come on, George. We, we gotta go watch out for Curly. We need to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. I... I know, I just... I feel bad for Lenny. He... He's always been alone. He deserves respect when he leaves. Not this. Not to be shot in the gut. And if he leaves, I'll be just as alone as him. But... But that's okay, I guess. Maybe I deserve it for treating him so harshly. I I hope he don't hate me for doing this. It'll be okay, George. It's what has to be done. Wacha! Nom 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 nom! Mmm! Tastes like symbolism! No one's here with me. Now I can finally get my rabbits. George is always hanging over me. Maybe it's about time I get to be by myself. About time I get to raise my own rabbits and do what I want to do instead of always being so alone. Listen here, boy. You've always been causing problems, no matter where you go. And look what you're doing now. More and more problems all the time. You better off on your own, so you don't hurt no one no more. Aunt Clara? I... Uh, I know. I know, Aunt Clara. Good. Now go run along now. I don't want you neither. Too much trouble than you're good for. Well, but... But... Fine. Maybe I will just run away from you too. No one wants me anyways. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Even Aunt Clara don't want me. Why I gotta be so alone? I I guess I ain't good to nobody no more. Even George ain't here to be with me. Wait, wait. George? Is that you? It's me. It's me, Lenny. Hello. It's me. It's Lenny. George, George, tell me about the farm. Tell me about the rabbits. Oh, all right, Lenny. We're... 
We're gonna get our own little farm. We're gonna live off the fat of the land. Yeah? Yeah? Look in the distance. Imagine it, Lenny. Oh, okay. We'll work the days we must, and when it's stormy, we'll sit inside together, not bothering no work. Sure, it'll just be us, and maybe it'll get kinda lonely. But we'll never be completely alone. We'll have each other. What about the rabbits, George? What about the rabbits? We'll, we'll have our rabbits, and you'll get to tend to all of them. They'll all be yours, and you'll feed them with that alfalfa patch of yours. It'll be the dream we've always wanted. The dream we've been searching for forever. The dream everyone's wanted. We'll be living it. But whatever you do, Lenny, just never forget that. Always keep it in your mind. This is where we'll be forever. You killed him, George? Looks like right in the head. It, it had to be done. Don't beat yourself up over it, George. It, it just had to be done. It was the right thing to do. I, I, I know. But, but now I understand how he felt. How alone someone can truly feel in this world. D don't feel so alone, George. You've got me. I'll cheer you up. Let's go for a drink, okay? That'll make everything feel better. I'm sure of it. Man, I wonder what's eating at them two. Carson, what does that even mean? I don't know, Curly. All I know is that Steinbeck was crazy.